Hello boys and girls, kids from one to 92. My name is Reginald Lafayette Bullock. Some people call me DJ Dr. Reggie B. And today is the 24th of December, 2020. And I would like to read a poem to you that was written on December the 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve in 1823. The poem initially was titled, A Visit from St. Nicholas. We all know it as, Twas the night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was staring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new falling snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer with the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick, more rapid than eagles his coursers, they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blixum, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers, they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys was flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkle, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow and his beard, the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a joke. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprung to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. I wish each and every one of you a safe and happy holiday. 
I hope that the children who get a chance to listen to this are experiencing the many joys, peace, and happiness that I did when I was a child. So I wish you all joy, peace, and happiness. Reggie B.